so in the last 3 4 months how what was your revision schedule or what was your revision plan like was it in terms of revision like in chemistry i had made one document sort of okay so i put all the new stuff then i was getting so when you started your preparation maybe 2 3 years back so that time when you would have seen the syllabus like did you just go with whatever teachers are saying or did you depending on the work or like any example like whenever the mscs were coming close okay. then it was only physics and chemistry right or So we have with us Daksh, who is all in the rank 15 in the JEE Advanced 2025 examination. Hi, Daksh. How are you? Hi, sir. I'm good. Good. Okay. So I have some couple of questions for you, uh, which every student wants to know. So how did your JEE preparation look like every day, like from morning till night, like a just an outline? So I didn't really have a fixed time of waking up. Like okay. initially, it was kind of late, like nine-ish. But then, so a uh, night owl, basically. Yeah, more okay. or less. Huh? Okay. But then towards the end, maybe around eight, 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 eight thirty. Was you sleeping? Eight, eight, eight. How many hours did you study? Hours, on average, like towards the, the end. Um, let's say the last four five months, maybe. Last four five months, between eight to eleven. Probably. Eight to eleven hours. Okay. And uh, did you take many breaks, or was it like was there like a big stretch where you studied for four five hours? Uh, not four five hours. Okay, like, maximum stretch would be. I don't do and a half. Two and a half hours. Okay, okay. And uh, did you plan your days well in advance, or was it like spontaneous in the flow? Whatever comes, I'll just keep on studying. Very spontaneous. Very I tried spontaneous. planning it, but it didn't work out. Okay, so that's not uh, your problem. It's everybody's problem, guys. Okay. So in the last three four months, uh, what was your revision schedule, or what was your revision plan like? Was it just theory? Was it just problems? Was it just PYQs or a mix of both? Was it going back to some video lectures? What was it? Like in the last two three months, I had mostly tests. Like I used okay. to give so two two or three tests a week, two alternate days times. Okay. So that was there. So that and then looking at the mistakes etc. Then. In terms of revision, like in chemistry, I had made one document sort of. Okay. So I put all the new stuff that I was getting, or any topics like the weird topics like biomolecules and whatever. Chemistry was a subject which you didn't like among the three. You compared oh, to the compared others. to the others. So yeah. how did you manage to bring in that interest, or was it like okay, I can somehow manage it? Like for a long time, I didn't like chemistry, but okay. then after doing it a bit. You get like like it at least a little bit enough to study it. And was it like you found a topic in chemistry that which you can hold on to and then slowly move on and yeah, yeah yeah like organic chemistry organic which which was very logical you can say yeah you found it logical it's more like a puzzle it's more like a puzzle yeah so students uh, usually find it like very theoretical but actually it's a very logical puzzly thing okay great and uh, how did you switch between the subjects physics chemistry maths was it like physics whole day or Physics and maths, two subjects or three subjects. How was it? Depending on the work or like any exam, like whenever the MSCs were coming close, okay. then it was only physics and chemistry. Right. Or if there's more math homework than math. Right. Mostly chemistry, and at least in the later of that was like consistently a lot. But right. physics and math is like swap between them. Right. So when you started your preparation, maybe two three years back. So that time when you would have seen the syllabus, like did you just go with whatever teachers are saying, or did you? Uh, Buy some books or made a plan, or you ask someone for a plan. Like which books should I study for what and for theory, for practice and whatever. Kind of just used to do whatever. What your teachers told. Yeah. Okay, but slowly did you get a I mean, I hold of some other books also? Not books. I used to do some extra stuff like whatever interesting I found online. Right. Like maybe on YouTube I saw something. Oh, or nice. On like the when talking on Discord or something. Okay. What was the most interesting thing that you found online, which maybe still puzzles you, or which probably interested you way back then? Like in terms of uh, academics, anything it could be like a concept or some theory or something which really got you into thinking a lot. I think I saw something about when they're using means like you know in conics you do all the different properties so without using coordinate geometry. That was oh. I think I saw that. Okay. 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 So. Uh, Uh, did, uh, was there any problem or was there any situation which you couldn't solve for many hours or many days, which kept you thinking, and you know you wanted to know the answer without looking at the solution? Did it ever happen to you? Not days, but yeah, hours. Hours, yeah. Especially like in maths, some of the assignments I used to spend. So maths. since you love maths, what is it that um, you want to do in mathematics? Maybe five years or ten years down the line. Not quite. Sure. Not quite. Sure. Okay. So now that the exam is over, how are you spending your time? Suddenly, do you feel that suddenly there is a lack of, you know, books and exams and no pressure at all? Does it overwhelm you that you have nothing to do? 
it doesn't really overwhelm me. It's like okay. I can just waste as much time <laughs> as I want to. <laughs> and you're never going to get this time back where you can waste it without any consequences. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's good. Great. Okay.